What's going on peeps? I'm not sure if you can see it but about two weeks ago when I was working at Wembley I had an allergic reaction and that's why I haven't really been on Insta or anything like that or posting any videos or pictures because I was just waiting for it to heal. It hasn't completely healed yet as you can see but it's a lot better than it was trust me. But um, just wanted to apologise for that and be on the lookout because I still have been recording and I think the video footage that you lot are about to see is going to be awesome. If you have any questions about any fitness, you know, I'm always happy to help. I'm here for that. And um, I'm excited. So what's going on, peeps? So today I'm with Jack. And today we're going to be doing foundation day, which involves basically doing all of the major main lists, but with a bit of a twist. And I'm going to also leave the program down below for you lot to catch up and see exactly what we got up to today. Be on the lookout for future videos and take care, peeps. Well, from quite a young age, I was a little bit, you know, on the obese side um, of things. I wasn't that active. Um, just sort of fell into like a trap, just going home from school playing video games whatsoever. And I think it was about year maybe year nine or year ten, I had a PE teacher and he really inspired me, you know, to be more like him. He was very inspirational. And I sort of just followed along in, you know, them sort of footsteps. And the more I'd done it, the more I sort of like fell in love with it. I fell in love with bettering myself, you know, as an individual. I don't really do it for, you know, any competitions, anything like that. Just to better myself. So that's pretty much why I just enjoy being the best I can be. Now, so I started at around 14, I'm 18 now, so I would say around four years, but for the first two years of that, it was more just bodyweight stuff, it weren't in the gym. So yeah, in total around three to four years. So this is your first day doing, first time doing foundation yeah, yeah, day? Yeah, I'm excited to see what it's gonna be Yeah, like. testing your strength yeah, today, man. Testing it out. But to be honest, it's just, just going with how I feel with things, you know, like um, being a lot more comfortable with myself and trying new things, and I encourage all of you guys to do that, you know, like step out of your comfort zone. So, before we start, we're going to be starting foundation day with squats and we're going to do a uh, leg warm up just to get the blood flowing in the legs. I always believe it's very good to get the blood flowing in the legs, get that testosterone going because this is going to keep, this is going to keep the pump for the rest of the foundation. So as you see Pete's over here, we're going to be using the dumbbell as a measurement. That's how low we want to be making sure that everybody's getting. So Jack's going to be starting the warm-up. The warm-up is very simple. We're going to start with the toes pointing forward, then the po toes pointing outwards, then the toes pointing inwards, and then in the last set he's going to do jumping squats to end it on the last 25. 100 reps to get that pump going in the legs, Pete's. Five and turn them toes out. Fantastic. And go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty-four, twenty-five. That's it. You're fifty, bro. Yep. Turn them right in as much as you can. Yep. That's the one. Now going down now. That's the one. Nice. Where you going, bro? That's I don't know if I can get through the twenty-five. Now nah, you will. You will. You will. Keep going. You got this, that's two so far. One rep at a time. That's it, nine, keep going. That's ten, keep going. There we go. Switch up, that's it. Eleven, keep going. Twelve, thirteen. Bro, you can rack it back up. One, two, three, keep going. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, keep going. Ten, eleven, keep going. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Nearly there, bro. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, one more, twenty, five more, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, one more, twenty-five, and you're done. How are you feeling, bro? You've never done anything like that before. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. 
All right, it's just turn his feet out. Now it's just turn his feet in. Keep it going, keep it going. He's gonna jump in with the bar. I'm telling you, I don't know how he's doing it because when I was doing this, I was dying. Beast right here. So, that was the 100 rep warm up that I like to do to get the legs pumping. As you saw, the movement wasn't very big, but you want to keep the tension very small, just turning the position of the hands so you can really get that pump in the quads. Only do the jumping ones with the bar if you're comfortable. But yeah, let me know how you don't get on with that one. How did you find that one, Jack? That was tough. <laughs> that was So just a quick message out there to the people. Make sure that when it comes to your light load, as I said, anything between 15 to 18 reps roughly, don't let your ego kick in for this one. Don't think because you see someone else doing a heavy light, you need to do a heavy light. It's whatever your light is, yeah? Cool. That's it, bro. And uh, walk big back, that's the one. There we go. It's two, three, Four, five, good form. Well done, brother. So what's the difference going down to the dumbbell? Yeah, so normally I've never gone down to the dumbbell before, but it keeps you accountable on your depth. So if nothing's there, you never really know how low you're going. That makes sure you're going to that. Every single that row. Point, yeah. Every. That's right. That feel. Yeah. See, I'm used to sticking between the hypertrophy rep ranges, so this one feels a lot nicer and easier than the higher reps. But just goes to show you need to get out of comfort zone and try new things. You've got it perfectly, bro. What's going on, Pete? So even for me now, this is me coming out of my comfort zone. Um, just in case, as you see, this is three plates. I haven't actually gone as low as the stun bar before, so the aim is one. <laughs> Trust me, it makes a difference going to the dumbbell, makes a big difference. Just get it, touched it. Whew. Touched it again. So this is Jack's attempt at free plates, everybody. <laughs> You'll be fine. I think I'll be better just here, you know. I promise you. Give it a shot. One shot. I believe in you, man. You got this. There we go. There we go. You've got it. We go, keep going. There we go. In the right spot, bro.
There we go. There we go. Strong. That's a PR, man. Yeah. I, no, no, I've done that front squat before, but never hitting this low here. You know what, bro? You know what? I, I could have done too. I'm not even gonna lie. See? <laughs> So what's going on peeps, so now we're moving on to part 2 of foundation which is the deadlifts. Once again light, medium, heavy, with once again the super set at the end of the three moves would then have to be the pull ups, three sets once again. So once again the big debate is deadlifts right, everybody wonders what, what's the best form, how do we do it, we see a lot of people only come to this range of motion, but for me I'm a big believer in trying to get nice and low so your legs can get involved in the action as well, but whatever deadlift suits you, this can work for your deadlifts too. Let me know what your opinion is on deadlifts, leave it down in the comments down below please. See that breathing, really brace it. This one, kill it, bro. This up, yeah? There we go. Sweet. Fantastic, bro. So guys, remember what you're seeing here is after, you know, the insane warm-up, the squats, it's after all of that. So, you know, if you do try this workout and follow it to the team, the weights are going to be a lot harder compared to when you're fresh. So, keep that in mind. Ho, oh, oh. ho. There we go. Easy. Back down. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's a back. Amber still fresh in a dark building. Hot tarmac steam. Having a life whilst everyone else sleeps. Deadline looming. Some more belong, form and pacing. Hot back with ease. Get it up, get it up, get it up. Under 600 McDonald's, over 24 hours. That's the one, bro. Keep going. Yeah, that's the one. Smooth. Which house has to be around for this? Cool. Go. 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 